hello everyone, Joe here. In today's On One Photo Raw tutorial, I want to show you how I got this cinematic looking street photo here from this photo here. It's pretty easy, so let's hop in here and get started. Okay, everyone, let's open our photo into our edit module here and let's make sure we are in develop. As you can see, it clicked here. We have developed effects, portrait, and local. We will be using develop effects and local today, uh, but we'll start out with develop. Now I'm actually using a uh, camera profile of here's on one standard. And before we get started, if anybody's wondering, this is a photo actually shot uh, in Hong Kong, actually in Kowloon, uh, just in case anybody's wondering, it's just a night photo shot. It's just something I thought looked pretty nice. So uh, I'll have to capture the scenery. That said, let's get back in here and do some editing. Okay, now this is gonna be a pretty easy uh, edit here. Uh, most of these are not that much uh, drastic changes. And it's just a little bit here and there. And overall, it really adds up to change the photo. So let's first start out here, but actually go ahead and change it our you know, temperature and stuff. I actually want to drop this down a little bit cooler. Let's see. Yeah, three, two, two, five. That way it brings out a lot more of the uh, blues and stuff in the highlights which is something I'm kind of going for here. And to kind of accentuate that, I'm actually going to boost the tent here a little bit from my says 28. I'm going to boost it up, say like 50, 52. Yeah, that looks a bit better. That way it brings up more of the blues and the reds in the image, which is what I'm really going for in this image. And of course, I'm going to boost the saturation here up to 10, as well as the vibrance as well. Looking pretty nice. Now to kind of protect some of the highlights and being uh, oversaturated, I'm gonna pull the uh, highlights purity slider over here to just 25. That'll be enough to clip out you know, some of the extreme uh, highlights having too much saturation in them to keep them looking uh, unnatural. Even though this is gonna be a fairly unnatural looking photo when we get done. Okay, that said, let's go back up here to the tone controls. Uh, exposure is already set. There's no need to adjust it. I like it the way it is. Uh, the contrast, I am going to bump hip, uh, here to about 20. Yeah. Now that kind of darkened a lot of things in a little bit. Although, don't worry too much. We will be adjusting the, the highlights, mids, and uh, shadows and other tones here just a little bit. So let's actually pull the highlights down some more. And the reason I'm doing that is to kind of pull back. Uh, saw a lot of the signs and the lights and stuff are not completely washed out. So I'm gonna pull back the highlights here quite a bit to 80. It's pretty extreme, but I actually wanna be able to see a little bit more in these uh, signs and stuff and not lose that detail. Now also I will be boosting up the mids here just a little bit, just to five, you know, not much. And if anybody's kind of wondering, you can actually just, you know, type in the numbers you want here and hit enter. So if I just hit in this five here, boom. It goes to five and the shadows here will be bringing those up also say up to 20 see us brighten it back up even though we adjust the contrast while ago that's really bringing it back still retaining a little bit of that contrast and stuff blacks here i am actually going to drop just a little bit and i mentioned you can also use uh, the keypad to actually dial this in if you look, negative five here as you can see, dial it in a lot more accurately instead of trying to move the slider if that if you lock that type of thing. And the last I want to bring up the structure here, because you can see if I pull the structure up pretty extreme, it adds a lot of structure. Don't want that much. Just say 15, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, if I can get it now in there. There, 15. There we go. And that's looking pretty decent so far. Okay, now we'll go down here to details. Pretty much easy, I'm just going to click on low and the basic setting is all we really needed. Pretty easy there, a little, you know, not much you have to adjust. If you do find you do need to adjust like some noise reduction stuff, you can adjust you know, luminance slider and stuff here if you really want to. And it help bring you reducing kind of like luminance noise. Or if you got like some uh, background color noise, like magentas and stuff showing up, which, common in a lot of your know, photos and stuff you know shot in the you know, dark areas you can pull those up too really don't think i really need to in this photo i didn't really see any when i first edited it 
Okay. And I do recommend uh, have remove hot pixels checked just in case you happen to be doing a long exposure and do get us uh, one hot pixel or two. This really helps remove those. That's a good feature I do like on one photo raw that I highly recommend. Lens here, let's find our Sigma 18 to, uh, to 35 art lens, which is what this is shot with. And you can see it, it removes any distortion stuff and gets everything looking you know, really nice. And I think that's all we really need to do here on the uh, develop side of things. So let's head over to the effects. And as you can see, we have nothing in our uh, filters added into effects. We don't have very many we're going to add. But let's first uh, start by dropping in, you know, the curves filter here, which we found right here. And i uh, get that dialed in. Let's pull this up just a little bit. Thank you. One about right there, about right there. Let's dial this in. Keep that midtones locked in, permit center. Let's pull back these just a little bit. And we see before and after. This kind of just clips a little bit of the highlights and the shadows to kind of give it more of a matte look, matte feel, kind of a little more cinematic. Maybe what you're looking for. If not, you don't have to add it. It's totally up to you. And let's enter our next filter here, which is a glow filter. It's another filter I really do like. And we're gonna choose one of the, uh, it says charge more. It's a good one to add in, but you can see it makes it really extreme here. Good things is uh, on these filters, we can get an opacity slider. Easily pull that back. And I'm gonna pull back the glow filter here to more around 50. You can see, you know, bef before and after, just give everything more of a glowy feel. I really do like this filter. And let's add in our traditional vignette. Grab it. And let's just choose subtle. And I'm actually gonna slide this one back to 50 as well. You can see it's just very, very subtle. And that's it on the filters. Now, the only thing we really do is to actually go over here to local adjustments. And let's do a little lightning, which I think they really should have <laughs> did that as like dodge and you know, burn. You know, but they were able to uh, light instead. Now, my feather at opacity, I've you know got set it to 75. That's the way I like to do it. And the opacity right now set at 100 here. However, we can adjust that down later, but I'm gonna leave it set to 100. It's gonna look pretty extreme at first, but we're still a little, you know, dodging here, we're brightening up these areas. I want to shine a lot more. Here we go, there, there, there. A little bit on the sign here, looks too dark. A little bit there to brighten that up and a little bit on the street corner here and see if there's anything else i want to add a little bit brightening up to here i think that's really about oh, oh yeah my signs here now you see like 100 is a little strong zeros no no filter so we're going to adjust this to about 33 Okay, now we got that done. You can see what we, uh, the extra little brightening up did, you know, the extra dodging. I can see it makes things look quite nice. I really do like that. So let's see what we got done here. Now, let's do it a little bit before. This is what the original image looked like. And this is what the image looks like now. Overall, I think this is really nice look. Has a really nice kind of cinematic look to it. I think a lot of people will uh, actually like. And if you do like this edit and like this tutorial, how about give me a thumbs up? Okay, everyone. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and let you know on at least more videos. And if you're interested in On One Photo Raw, do check out the links down in the description below.